I am Barun Prabhat and I am going to discuss comparative study of hearts in vertebrates part 2 In this video I'll discuss hearts found in amphibia Here we are going to discuss three chambered transitional hearts Three chambered transitional heart are found in amphibians, especially in a neurons. But some amphibian like siren have their ventricles partially divided by interventricular sept. This heart the figure of this heart belongs to African length face protopterus. In lung faces, especially African lung face and South American lung face, pulmonary veins open into left atrial chamber. Whereas in Australian lungfish, this pulmonary veins opens directly into sinus venosus. Lungfishes and siren have another peculiarities. They lack atrioventricular valve. Actually, they have atrioventricular plug. This one is atrioventricular plug. At the aperture of atrioventricular opening. It means we can say that atrioventricular aperture is guarded by atrioventricular plug and not by atrioventricular valve. In case of lung feces and urodel amphibians. So urodel amphibian have atrium which is partially divided by interatrial septum this one is right atrial chamber or right atrium and this one is left atrium or left atrial chamber this one is interatrial septum here is a perforation which is called foramen ovale this one is ventricle and this one is conus arteriosus. Conus arteriosus contains a spiral valve in their lumen, which is also called pilangium. Right? Next, we will see a neuron heart. A neuron amphibians have atria, right atrium or left atrium. It is also called right atrial chamber or left atrial chamber because interatrial septum divides the atrium completely into two chambers. Right atrium receives blood from sinus venosus through sinoatrial aperture. This sinoatrial aperture is guarded by sinoatrial valve. Right atrium opens into ventricle 
and this opening or aperture is guarded by semilunar valve left atrium receives blood through pulmonary veins from lungs this blood is oxygenated blood and left atrium opens into ventricle through left atrioventricular aperture this aperture is also guarded by semilunar valve ventricle opens into conus arteriosus this one is conus arteriosus the lumen of conus arteriosus is called pilangium this one and this is the spiral valve a spiral valve is also called septum valve actually this conus arteriosus twists by 270 degree due to which this valve becomes a spiral and it divides the pilangium into two separate parts one is called cavum pulmocutaneum it receives deoxygenated blood and another is called cavum aorticum which receives oxygenated blood to remember this we can use cp c for cavum and p for pulmocutaneum dov for deoxygenated blood in similar manner here ca c for cavum or a for aorticum ob for oxygenated blood in this way we can remember this in a simple <coughs> or very effective manner a neuron heart undergoes twisting due to which atrium becomes anterior to ventricle anterior to ventricle and this sinus venosus opens into this right atrium dorsally and not posteriorly thanks if you like my video please subscribe my channel